Now, next see let's some question number six. Now here, denominator order is what three? Okay, denominator order is one. Okay. Now here, we just think. Okay. Now, can you break or you can you separate the terms? Okay. This. Okay. If you are not able to separate the terms, then we have to write with the help of constant coefficients carrying with algebraic functions. Okay. Now let's consider. Okay, let's let's try to break this. If it is possible, then fine. If it is not possible, then we will associate with uh, constant term associating with uh, variable x. Okay, let's consider x cube minus x square minus x plus one. Now, can I take x square common? Yes, because over here, if I take x square common, then I will have x minus one minus 1 if I take common x minus 1 because minus minus gets plus over here this is same as x square minus 1 into x minus 1 okay now again again I what I can do is I can I can sep separate this a square minus b square is what x minus 1 into x plus 1 this I am separating this into x minus 1 okay this okay what i'm doing is x square minus 1 is same as x minus 1 x minus here x minus 1 x plus 1 this is same as here x minus 1 the whole square into x plus 1 okay therefore this can be written as this okay therefore 3x plus 5 upon x minus 1 the whole square into x plus 1 okay now this we need to associate with constant terms okay let's consider this okay let's consider this if i consider this this is same as a upon here these are linear here keep in mind here okay now this integers uh, integration of this means a upon x minus 1 okay since here this is x minus 1 is repeated root okay you can say repeated uh, algebraic okay so you need to increase till you get the highest a upon x minus 1 b upon x minus 1 the whole square okay if it is x x x minus 1 the whole cube what you have to write c upon x minus 1 the whole cube you carry with constant terms okay Const arbitrary constants till you get the highest okay and this is over plus c upon x plus 1 so after that multiplying these on both sides okay this multiplying this term on both sides what we have this this term this term will get cancelled we have 3x plus 5 is equals to a into here x minus 1 1 x minus 1 will get cancelled we have x minus 1 1 and there is x plus 1 plus b x minus 1 x minus 1 will get cancelled we have x plus 1 plus c x plus 1 gets cancelled we have x minus 1 the whole square now if i substitute the values of x value when x equals to one okay this term and this term will get cancelled okay now putting the value of x equals to one okay if i substitute value of x equals to one this term will get zero this term will get zero let's see putting x equals to one in this equation okay here 3 into 1 is 1, 3 plus 5 is 8, is equals to, when I substitute x equals to 1, this term will get 0, because 1 minus 1 is 0, this term also will get 0, I will get this, b into 1 plus 1 is what, 2, okay, this implies b equals to, here 8 by 2 is 4, okay, here I am getting value of, v now similarly if i substitute x equals to minus 1 when x equals to minus 1 okay here uh, 
I'll get minus 3 plus 5 is equals to x equals to minus 1 I will get this 0 okay because minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 plus 1 0 here I'll see minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 the whole square is implies minus 3 plus 5 is 2 is equals to 2 is a 4 okay here c into 4 therefore therefore c equals to here 1 upon 2 we have c okay and b now if i substitute the value uh, now my aim is to find a okay now a i will be getting what i will be getting a if i substitute x equals to 0 over here i will get x equals to 0 here 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 let's see when i substitute when x equals to 0 what i'll get 5 is equals to otherwise let's let's do one thing let's compare coefficient of x square okay if i compare coefficient of x square what we have on the left hand side we have 0 okay comparing coefficient of x square okay comparing coefficient of x square because in the coefficient of x square i will be getting x a here b c involved that's why so we have on the left hand side we have zero on the right hand side i will be getting a okay a into x square i will be getting i have a and here b i will not be getting anything okay here i'll have plus c here c into x square i will have okay so therefore a is minus c therefore a equals to minus c that c we have therefore therefore a is what minus half now substituting the values of here okay therefore integral x minus uh, what is a a is minus half here i have minus half and integral 1 upon x minus 1 dx plus what is b b is 4 1 upon x minus 1 raised to 2 plus c c is half integral 1 upon x plus 1 okay now i'll remove this integration of this is what we have is equals to half log of x minus 1 plus 4 okay this is ms x minus 1 raised to half okay uh, minus 2 this is i can i can write x minus 1 raised to minus 2 integration of x raised to minus n okay is minus n x raised to n minus 1 okay here is n minus 1 is minus 3 okay and then plus half that is log of x plus 1 plus c is the required answer here otherwise you can do one thing you can keep as half log of x minus 1 plus 4 to the minus 4 to the 8 1 upon 8 upon minus 8 upon x minus 1 raised to cube plus half log of x plus 1 plus c this is the answer you can keep like this number 7 over here we have x upon x square plus x plus 1 x minus 1 okay now here this will be very much difficult to uh, break it okay now this will uh, therefore what we will do is we have to choose the constant uh, we have to choose the constant term okay this is ms therefore this integral is ms this equals to a upon x minus 1 plus here this is square is there so we need to assign b x plus c upon 
x square plus x plus 1. If you can bracket this uh, quadratic equation, something like uh, x minus something, then there will be x minus, let's try to bracket x square plus, then this will, this will be a complex number, okay? So this we have to write like this, which implies, multiplying this on both sides, we have x equals to a into this will get x square plus x plus 1 plus bx plus c into well we have x minus 1 okay now again if i expand this okay now let's substitute when i substitute x equals to 1 here i'll get 1 equals to a into here 1 square 1 1 3 okay yeah 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 is implies a equals to 1 by 3 yeah we have we have the values of a now other values is what okay let's expand one more step over here if i expand this a into x square plus a x plus a plus if I multiply bx into this, bx into x minus 1, we have bx square minus bx plus cx minus c, okay. Now, in this what we have to do is comparing various powers of x, okay. The, if I compare, so you can see comparing powers of x okay here let's compare base powers of let's compare x square okay if i compare on the left hand side we have zero okay on the right hand side i have a plus b a plus b okay here a plus b over here okay therefore a equals to minus b means uh, you can say b equals to minus a is minus 1 by 3 because a is we have therefore b is equals to minus 1 by 3 okay now if i compare we have a b okay we need only c okay a b c so if i compare the constant terms okay if i compare the constant terms constant terms on the left hand side constant term nothing is there so we have zero is equal constant term what i have a plus constant term means free from x okay here we have a minus c okay it implies a equals to c means a is what a is 1 by 3 therefore c equals to 1 by 3 okay substituting values over here okay we have what is a a is what we have a is 1 by 3 integral 1 upon x minus 1 dx plus what is b b is minus 1 by 3 x plus c is what 1 by 3 upon x square plus x plus 1 dx okay now this is what this is 1 by 3 log of x minus 1 okay this we have now here i can take what i can take minus 1 by 3 common okay here if i take 1 by 3 common what we have is x minus minus x minus minus plus okay here 1 upon i have x square plus x plus 1 okay now you check this differentiation of x square plus x is what d by dx of what is d by dx of x square plus x plus 1 is what twice x plus twice x plus what 1 okay so i need to get twice x plus 1 over here okay twice x plus 1 okay now I need twice x plus 1, this is 1 by 3 
log of x minus 1 minus I want to get if I multiply this if I have twice x minus 2 this 2 okay is extra 3 into 2 okay these 2 and these 2 gets cancelled okay here I have x square plus x plus 1 why are 2x okay here if I multiply or you can say here I am in the numerator I am multiplying by 2 okay these 2 and these 2 gets cancelled okay therefore 3 to the is 6 Okay, why I am bringing 2x because this different denominator differentiation I should get numerator. Okay, here I should get plus 1 over here. Okay, here plus 1 is same as I want to get plus 1 minus 1. Okay, plus 1 is extra minus 1. So I can get this and this term. Okay, so this is same as 1 by 3 and log of x minus 1 minus 1 by 6 okay here this is same as twice x plus 1 upon x square plus x plus 1 integral dx okay here minus okay minus minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 okay here minus 3 integral 1 of x square plus x plus 1 this what I am doing is minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 I am outside okay this this bracket is here okay I am having this bracket over here okay now is equals to 1 by 3 log of x minus 1 minus 1 by 6 I will have bracket over here now differentiation of this is this it means log of it will be what log of x square plus x plus 1 minus okay 3 now we need to make perfect square over here okay we need to make perfect square let's see x square plus 2 i need twice x i need okay twice x i need but this is extra 2 okay plus 1 by 2 the whole square making perfect square plus 1 okay plus 1 minus 1 by 2 the whole square why because x square is here x we need okay x 2 to get so twice x i need for formula making perfect square and the a square plus twice ab plus b square this b square is extra so i am cancelling plus minus and one is there okay this is what this is what x plus half the whole square uh, here we have plus one minus one by four okay if i take lcm this is four minus here four minus what we'll have we have 4 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 okay yeah i will have here 3 by 4 or you can say root 3 by 2 the whole square okay therefore instead of this i can write x plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square okay so it is x square plus a square okay so integral of 1 by x square plus a square is 1 by a the inverse x by a okay so this is same as 1 by a what is a 1 upon root 3 by 2 10 inverse x by a what is x we have x plus 1 by 2 upon root 3 by 2 okay plus some constant okay this is you can answer for 7 okay question number 8 okay now here this is your uh, denominator order is what cube okay numerator order is x square okay now here this is x square minus 7 so we cannot break this okay so we need to write in standard form consider let's consider this is equals to this equals to a upon x plus 1 
plus here, here x square is there. So we need to give two constants, b x plus c upon x square minus 7, okay? Why we need to give two constants b and c, why? Because we have x square. Now multiplying this, okay, multiplying this on both sides of the equations, what we have is we have 3x square plus 5x minus 4 equals to a into x minus 1, x minus 1 will get cancelled. We'll have x square minus 7 plus bx plus c into this and this will get cancelled. We'll have x plus 1. Okay. Let's write down one more step. This is same as x square minus 7 plus bx square this into this okay this into this bx square plus bx plus cx plus c now if i substitute value of x equals to what x equals to minus one okay this term will get cancelled i will have a words here it should be here a okay a into this this will be ax square seven a so sub substituting x equals to minus one why minus one because if i substitute x equals to minus one this term will get zero and i will be getting values of a okay here three into one square is three plus five into one is five minus 4 is equals to this sum over, over into 1 square is 1 1 minus 7 this sum will get 0 is implies we have 3 plus 5 is 8 8 minus 4 is 4 is equals to here we have 6 minus 6 minus 6 a okay Therefore, a equals to minus 6 and then 2 will be 2, 2 sa, 2, 3 sa. Therefore, a is minus 2 upon 3. This is your a, okay. Now, after that, let's compare the various powers of x, x okay. If I compare the value of uh, uh, the coefficient of x square, okay. So, coefficient of x square, if I compare, so on the left hand side, what I have is 3 is equals to here a plus b here, a plus b, okay. Here I have a, b, x square coefficient is here, x square coefficient is here. What is a? a, so we have is equals to is minus 2 by 3 plus b is implies okay or you can say is implies 3 plus 2 by 3 is equals to what b 3 is 9 9 plus 2 9 plus 2 upon 3 is what 9 10 11 11 upon 3 is your B, okay? This is your B. Now, A, B, C. We need to get the values of C. Now, let's compare the constant term, okay? Here, we have minus 4. I am comparing constant term. It means free from X, okay? Here, I have minus 4 equals to here constant term. Constant term, okay? Here I have minus 4 is equals to, here I have minus 7a, okay? Which one will be very much shorter way, just see. If I compare constant term, what I'll have is minus 7, okay, a, minus 7a and c. If I compare coefficient of x, uh, a, uh, x, I'll have b and c, okay, b and c. 1 and 7, okay. Here, minus 4 is equals to what I have. Constant term is 
माइनस सेवन ए प्लस सी ओके देर फोर माइनस फोर हियर प्लस सेवन ए और इस ए ए ही सियर माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू सी हियर सेवन टू जा फोर्टीन ओके हियर वट वी हैव सेवन टू जा फोर्टीन माइनस फोर माइनस फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री मीनिंग फोर थ्री जा टुएल्व माइनस टुएल्व माइनस फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री मीनिंग हियर वी हैव माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स अपॉन थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू सी दिस इज योर सी ओके नाउ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए वी सी इज इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके हियर आई हैव ए एज वॉट माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री हियर एज योर माइनस टू अपॉन थ्री वॉट इज बी बी इज अलेवन अपॉन थ्री हियर वी हैव अलेवन अपॉन थ्री C is twenty six upon three. Here minus twenty six upon three. Now integral of this, okay? Integral of this dx. Dx, okay? Now is equals to. Now differentiation of x plus one is what? x plus dy dx of x plus one is one. Okay, therefore, if you are getting denominator differentiation numerator, that in, then that is log of number uh, denominator. Okay, therefore, this this term is minus two upon three log of x plus one. Okay, this term integration is over. Now I can take here uh, one by three common. Okay, if I take Uh, plus one by three common, then I will have eleven x minus twenty three upon x square minus. Sorry, I am taking one by three common. Okay, check it here. Differentiation of x square plus seven is what twice x. Okay, I need twice x. I need to get twice x over here. Okay, so let's take eleven common. Okay. So if I take eleven common here, okay, here I will be getting eleven x, and then this upon eleven, okay, okay, and then this for differentiation of this I need twice x, okay. So so this is same as minus two upon three log of x plus one plus I need to get eleven by three into two. I am applying. Two inside, okay? Because if that two and this two and get cancel, the twice x minus two into this is two two is a four, two three is a six upon eleven upon x square minus seven, okay? That two why I'm keeping over here this because for differentiation of this, okay? So this is same as minus two upon three log of x plus one plus Eleven upon three to the six. Okay. Now let's take this common. Let's separate this upon this, this upon this. So twice x upon integral x square minus seven minus forty six upon eleven integral one upon x square minus instead of seven I can say root seven the whole square. Dx. Okay. Bracket close. This is same as minus two upon three log of x plus one plus eleven upon six. Now differentiation of this is this. Therefore, I will be getting that is log of x square minus seven. Okay. Minus forty six upon eleven. Now it is x square minus a square. Okay. It's one by twice a. Means one upon two into what is a root seven log of x minus a upon x plus a. Okay, x plus a plus c. Okay, this is the required answer for 
this eight. Okay. Question number nine. Okay, we have seven x minus eleven upon x minus two the whole square. Okay. So this can be written as remove integral is equals to a upon since a, a my x minus two the whole square is we need to increase with constant term with linear here x minus two plus b upon x minus two the whole square okay hmm now this multiplying this on both sides what we have is seven x minus eleven is equals to a into one x minus one x minus two will be remaining plus b okay here what b into x minus two the whole square into x minus two x whole square yes cancel okay here now if I substitute x equals to two over here so I'll be getting uh, seven to two fourteen minus eleven is equals to this gets zero okay here I can get b over here this implies 14 minus 11 is what 3 therefore b equals to 3 so I am getting the values of b okay now if I compare okay coefficient of x okay comparing coefficient of x on both sides okay now what we have is 7x on the left 7 we have only we have to compare coefficient of x okay here we have uh, coefficient of x is what 7 okay on the right hand side i have here a a a into x is a okay therefore a is what we have 7 here okay now substitute over here what is a is 7 integral of 1 upon x minus 2 okay integral of this is same as this is same as this same as this okay here dx what is b plus 3 integral x minus 2 the whole square is, i can write x minus 2 raised to minus 2 dx okay that is differentiation of this is this therefore that is log of x minus 2 plus 3 x raised to n okay here n x raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 okay plus some constant here x uh, uh, here integral of what x raised to n dx is x raised to n minus 1 upon minus 1 okay here so you don't have to write this okay here minus 1 you can keep like this or you can write one step 7 into log of x minus 2 plus here 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 you get minus 3 okay here minus 3 3 gets cancelled minus 1 upon x minus 2 raised to q plus c okay this is the answer for 9 thank you